the monarch previously referred to the Princess of Wales as his beloved daughter-in-law, and shares with her a deep love of art. King Charles has often spoken fondly of his close bond with Kate Middleton and is often pictured sharing a joke with his daughter-in-law at public appearances and national celebrations. The couple previously referred to the Princess of Wales as their beloved daughter-in-law, and they share many interests, including a great love and appreciation for the art of dot. It's this close relationship that leads many to call Kate the monarch's daughter, which they never had. And I'd be disappointed if Harry turned out to be a boy, okay? Relationships. Of course, while Diana was happy to have a healthy second child, she would have preferred a girl. I told her and asked her if she and Charles would try for a third child, but she said marriage too difficult to try again. But he admitted he dreamed of a girl, and if she hadn't died, maybe that wish would have come true. It is a great pleasure for King Charles that he gets on so well with Catherine. He tried it with Meghan too, but obviously it didn't work out. He's watched Catherine grow in her role, find causes she really cares about, and support her efforts. I think Charles admires and appreciates the strong family network Catherine has built for William. And Charles is obviously devoted to the three grandchildren who gave birth to Catherine. The photos show that he has an easygoing relationship with all three, and I'm sure he takes pride in the way Catherine is raising them. One of Charles and Kate's greatest shared interests is art, love both very much. The princess graduated from the University of St. Andrews in 2005, where she met Prince William with a degree in history of art. Today she is patron of numerous important museums and galleries in Great Britain, including the Natural History Museum and the National Portrait Gallery. While still holding the title of Prince of Wales, Charles saw 79 of his watercolours on display at Garrison Chapel in Chelsea and spoke passionately of his hobby, saying that painting refreshes parts of the soul that other pursuits cannot reach. You become more and more aware of things you might have overlooked before. The quality of light and shade, shadow and texture, and the shape of buildings is a great concentration exercise and is therefore one of the most relaxing and therapeutic exercises I have experienced. I devoted myself entirely to painting because photography seemed unsatisfactory to me. Thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell for more royal family news. Thank you, see you next time.